Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play and earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. In today's video, I wanted to share a clip from this past weekend, Splinterlands TV, where we discussed an interesting set of data around DEC, and I think you're going to find the conversation quite interesting. So let's just hop into the clip and remember, until next time, keep stacking those stats. So what I wanted to talk about with my Splinter fam here today on Splinterlands TV, I wanted to give you the preview here of this particular topic. And we're going to um, do a little Tales with Tales. And we're gonna talk about where, where are all the DEC hoarders? And what does this mean for DEC potentially in the near term. And I'm gonna give, I'm actually gonna use myself as an example of the illustration here that we're gonna go through to kind of put things into perspective. And I think you're gonna find it very interesting. So for me specifically, uh, if we go to Splinter Cards, right? It's probably well known. Um, you know, I have two tracks of land. So I'm in the um, Splinter Cards rich list for land here. And if you look here, I'm, I'm 98 on the list with 205 plots of land. Um, if you look at all the people in front of me, there's 97 of them. And look at all the land plots. A bunch of 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, 800s, 900s, a bunch of thousands. Uh, a bunch of 2000s, 3000s, 4000s. There's a lot of people that have a, a lot more land than I have, right? I think that's the, the takeaway from this uh, little chart here, a little ranking system here. There's a ton of plots, ton of landowners that have a lot more land than I do. And then if you look here, I'm at 98. I mean, if we scroll all the way down, I mean, there's... 3,643, you know, people that have surveyed land at this point in time. So there's a lot of landowners out there. In fact, you know, I have 200 plots, but if you look here at the uh, Praetoria stats, right? Right now we have surveyed 126,807 plots of land. Now, I don't know if you've uh, been following the town halls, but Aggie said last week that they're doing testing, internal testing of land 1.5. Generally, that means, you know, Splinterlands generally tests for like a week before they release something. That means that land is probably not coming next week because they've got the anti-bot stuff coming next week. I don't know if they do both anti-bot and land the same week. But you may see land 1.5 hit as early as less than two weeks from now. I mean, you could see land potentially, if you look at the Tuesday maintenance windows, you could see land hit August 1st. That is that is like a, a week and two days. It's like nine days or eight days, depending on where you live in the world, right? Land could be here that soon. And why is that relevant? Well, Going back to my example here, um, yeah, I'm 98 on the list for land holding 205 plots. If we go to the DEC rich list here, let's go to DEC rich list and take a look here. Right? Um, of my 205 plots, let's just say I'm able to bring 75% of them online, which is probably not even close to reality if because I don't have that many cards, right? But let's just say I had the cards. How much DEC would I need? 75% of, let's just say 205 plots, is 154 plots of land. If I could staff or work 154 plots of land when land 1.5 comes online, do you know how much DEC that would be? I would need to have 7.7 .7 million DEC 
to stake max level cards on 75% of my land. Look at the rich list here of DEC holders, right? 7.7 .7 million is basically rank 19. Like not even top, like barely top 20, right? Eight, eight million there. If you look at that, that's crazy. I'm 98 on the list. I have 200 plots of land. Like Vuctus has 4,000 plots of land. Now granted, Vuctus also has, I think, some DEC listed here. I don't know where he is on the list. He's not in the top 20 here. What does that tell you? Well, it tells you one of two things. Either all these land holders have all of their DEC in LPs, you know, probably combined maybe with SPS, and they don't have it in the game, right? That's option number one. And they'll bring it into the game when they when land goes live, right? That's certainly fair. Or the second option is all these, right, all these big land holders, right? Uh, if we go back to this rich list, all these big land holders with thousands or hundreds of plots of land, they haven't bought their DEC yet, right? Let's take a look at DEC. Where is DEC right now? DEC is at 78 Splintoshis. Like it is a bargain right now. If land 1.5 is literally two weeks away, maybe, let's just say maybe, best case scenario, and a lot of these land holders haven't bought their DEC, do you think when land goes live, they're going to be like, hey, I have all these plots of land. I've been holding on to these for years. I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm not going to work them. I'm not going to mine SPS. I'm not going to participate in land at all. Because I don't want to buy DEC at 78 Splintoshis because that seems pretty expensive. The answer is hell no. If they don't already have the DEC and it's not sitting in LPs, they're going to need to buy DEC between now and when land goes live, potentially two weeks from now. So what do you think is going to happen to DEC prices when everyone starts to want to buy DEC? You think DEC is going to be at a 22% discount? I don't think so. Now this is not financial advice, but I mean, if you want a potential near-term gain on an asset that couldn't be moving in a direction that rhymes with SUP, um, DEC could be something you may want to look into and do your own research on. Because again, if you look at these numbers, right? The top 19, 15, 10 holders of DEC right now don't, don't have enough DEC to staff anywhere near 126,000 plots of surveyed land. And you can't use DECB for land workers. So I don't know. You do the math. Let me know what you think here in the chat. But I don't know. Going back to our thumbnail here, where are all the DEC hoarders? Well, they're probably procrastinating. They're probably not like this troll under the bridge sitting on all these DEC gems and crystals. They're probably waiting in the wings like a lot of us saying, hey, we probably need to buy some DEC soon. So let me know. What do you think? Am I crazy? Am I saying, let's say you could do that. How long is the expected return on that DEC investment? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's a, another question. I mean, 7.7 .7 million DEC. I mean, how much is how much would that cost me to buy, even at the current prices? That's gonna cost me if the prices didn't move and I was able to buy 7.7 .7 million DEC at the market price. It'd be over six thousand dollars us to buy that dec to be able to work 75 percent of my land walk the grid is saying eight people playing land uh hopefully not or else those eight people are going to be dividing up like 165,000 sps daily amongst eight people 
So DCLP, how much is staked? Uh, that's a good question. We can see the LPs, right? Uh, let's see. I can see it here. The DEC SPS LP has 874,000 in liquidity and has basically 554 million times two. So it has like 1.1 1, 1 .1 billion DEC in the liquidity pool. Uh, I don't know if all of that comes out of the liquidity pool, but yeah, I mean, 1.1 1 .1 billion is a lot. If they took all that S or DEC out and then sold the SPS half of it and converted it to DEC, uh, what is 1.1 billion SPS divided by 50,000? How many plots of land is 1.1 billion? Uh, let's see, how many plots is that? 22,000 plots. If the DEC SPS LP was completely liquidated and went down to zero and all the SPS was sold for DEC, 22,000 plots could be uh, of land. 22,000 of the 126,000 surveyed could be worked if max level monsters were used. I mean, that's crazy. That's that's not a lot, honestly. And these other pools are much smaller. You've got, um, I mean, these other pools are $83, $347, $188, $203, $823, $11,600, $6,400, $21,200, $21, and Swap Hive DEC is $246,000. It's the second biggest. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, crazy stuff, crazy data there.